Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing in detail about the wall time diagram. So what is the aim of this wall timing diagram? We will be drawing a wall time diagram for a 4 stroke horizontal diesel engine. So for that the apparatus used are uh, the engine, the 4 stroke engine, spirit level and machine tape. So the apparatus description includes uh, there will be a horizontal four stroke diesel engine which has a flywheel on one side and a brake drum on the other side of the crankshaft. The camshaft connected to the crankshaft, uh, the end of which has a cam with the roller followers. These followers upon rotation over the cam operate the inlet and exhaust valve mechanism. Two extreme positions of the piston, namely inner dead center and outer dead center, can be uptight by keeping the crank in the horizontal position. Spirit level is placed on the flat side of the crank to get the extract, exact extreme position. The roller follower on the cam will be indicative of the position of the valves. So, the theory consists of the puppet valve of the engine is generally operated and closed by cam mechanism. The clearance between cams tappet audit value must be slowly taken up and valve slowly lifted in order to avoid noise, wear and tear. Again, values cannot be closely abruptly so that it balances back to its seat for the same reason. This means valve opening and closing periods should be spread over a considerable number of crankshaft degrees since it is necessary to do. Uh, uh, to start uh, uh, opening the inlet valve of the four stroke engine before TDC, the top dead center on the exhaust stroke pressure, which would result in the backflow in the inlet manifold. Since both valves are open at TDC position, they are said to be overlapped. Opening the inlet valve during the early part of the compression strokes allows for charging of the engine cylinder at higher speeds. This is also necessary to reduce the compression ratio of the engine at high speeds. Hence, uh, to avoid the knocking in SI engine, that is the, the violent sound. The exhaust valve opens before the completion of power stroke to allow most of the gases to escape in the blowdown process before the exhaust strokes are well underway. You can able to see the actual valve line diagram for a 4 stroke uh, diesel engine. The procedure decompression lever is set to open position. The flywheel fly is rotated clockwise for two revolutions to absorb cam orientation. Identify two extreme positions of the piston and different stroke in one cycle operation. The flywheel is rotated clockwise and the position is moved to inner dead center. This position is checked using spirit level. A mark is made on the flywheel corresponding to IDC. The flywheel is rotated clockwise to get the other extreme position of the piston. ODC and is marked. The flywheel is brought back to the starting position IDC to identify suction stroke. Position indicating the beginning of inlet wall open towards the end of the exhaust stroke of the previous cycle can be obtained by turning the flywheel in anti-clockwise direction. Position of IVO is marked on the flywheel. The flywheel is rotated clockwise to identify the end of the suction stroke. The inlet wall closes in the compression stroke and this piston is obtained and marked with reference to ODC. Towards the end of compression stroke, fuel opens. This fuel position is obtained by observing the moment of the plunger with the fuel pump. These positions marked with reference to IDC. The fuel wall closes at the beginning of the power stroke. This position is obtained when the plunger moves to the extreme position in the fuel pump. Corresponding position is marked with reference to IDC. Further, rotate the flywheel clockwise indicates the completion of the power stroke. The exhaust valve opens before the end of the power stroke and this position is marked with reference to ODC. Movement of the piston from ODC to IDC now indicates the completion of the exhaust. Towards the end of this stroke, the inlet valve opens and the cycle repeats thereafter. The exhaust valve opens in the suction stroke of the following cycle and this position is obtained and marked with reference to IVC. The distance of the valve positions between IVO, IVC, FVO, FVC, EVO, EVC with reference to positions are measured on the flywheel. The angles are formed. The valve timing diagram is drawn. Draw a horizontal line marking its left end as IDC and right end as ODC. Plot the diagram in proper direction. And this is a tabular column where the arc length and the angle in degrees should be measured for the different crank position from a two, from IVO IDC to ODC to IVC that is completion of the till crank positions. And the position of the crank here just now we discussed and the suction stroke, compression stroke, power stroke and exhaust stroke. The form loss was 
given here just have a look on it thank you